Hello, it's been a while. I think this is the longest break I've ever taken from YouTube. Um, I'm gonna do a little chatty get ready with me in terms of, I don't really know what I'm getting ready for, possibly just to film another video because I haven't filmed in, what's the date? I haven't filmed in over a month. Um, and I've truly, truly missed it. I've just had so much going on in my life. I'm not really gonna just talk through the products. I'm just gonna list them down below about what I'm using. Um, but I have just had so, so much going on in my life and I appreciate the heck out of some of you guys commenting and inboxing me on Instagram like, hey, where are you at? Are you okay? Um, I really, really appreciate that. That's so sweet of you. And honestly, it's nice to see that, <laughs> it's like nice to see that people are like, hey, you haven't uploaded in a while. And I know, and I'm so, so sorry. Um, how are you guys? I hope you're doing well. And yeah, it's, it'll be nice to hear from you guys. It'd be nice to hear and just how have you been this last five, six weeks. It'd be really great to hear from you. So beginning of June, me and my cousin booked a holiday to Portugal. Very, very ad hoc. We were kind of like, let's just do it. We were wanting a break. Um, her boyfriend works away for most of the year and I hadn't had a break and Jake wasn't too bothered about just literally relaxing by a pool or relaxing by the beach. So he wasn't too bothered. We were like, great, let's just book a really short kind of either week or weekend away to relax, to literally unwind, turn off the phones, read a book, drink some drinks, relax by the beach, you know, get a nice walk in, catch a tan. That's all we wanted, right? And so we booked this holiday to go at the beginning of June. And things with my work is they are so flexible and that is partially why I love working for the company that I work for. They're so, so flexible and they really offer like if I wanted to go away for four days as long as I gave a couple of weeks notice and as long as it doesn't clash with my work more importantly as long as it doesn't clash and I can still deliver my job they're like yeah cool like sort your own time out you know um so I love that the only thing is with that is to in order to get time off not, and this isn't like a thing that they do it's just like a thing that just happens unfortunately but in order to be able to have the time off you almost need to like say I'm having a week off I almost need to work two weeks worth of work, two weeks worth of work to get a week off because I'm not gonna be working that week so then the week before I have to do like double the amount of work in order to cover for the fact that I'm gonna have a week off. You know, it could be that I just don't care. I can't help it, it's like I'm not, I'm not built like that. I'm not like an eight till four person clock in, clock out. I like to do the job and I like to do the job well. I'm not a presenteeism person. I think if you can get your job done in less hours, crack on girl. But if you can get your job done in more, then that's what it takes, you know? Um, anyway, so before we went on this, or we're gonna go on this holiday, I was working so freaking much. Like we're talking 50, 60 hour weeks. I was burning out a little bit and I was so in need for this holiday. So in need, like every day I worked, I was like, I am so in need of this. One week before the holiday, I get COVID. <sighs> Can we just talk about how I have avoided COVID for two years? I haven't had COVID. I have avoided it. I've been like, ninja, like that, okay? I've been avoiding it. And when do I get it? 10 days before I'm supposed to go on holiday. Literally 10 days. And I was like, <sighs> I'm not canceling this holiday. Like I was like, I am gonna do everything to get a negative test. Like what, I probably overdosed on paracetamol, which I don't recommend, but I was like, I will do anything. I will pray to rain gods. Like I was really, really, really upset. Like upset to the point where it was like anger and upset. I was so, so annoyed. Um, and I also like missed a load of things because I was ill and also it was like the Jubilee weekend. Do you remember like the Thursday, Friday of like June, was that June? Beginning of June? I don't know. Um, it was like that weekend that obviously I could get off work and that's great, but I was in bed like dying with COVID and it just wasn't very nice. I had the flu, it was like not a great case. All I wanna say is thank God I had the vaccines because you know what? I truly believe if I didn't, I would have been in really, really poor state. It was not great. So that was stressful. I was also trying to complete things for work whilst having COVID because, I, you know, I had that holiday and I was trying to get stuff done and I was trying to pack and I couldn't pack because I literally couldn't stand up for more than like 10 seconds before I felt like I was gonna pass out. Jake was actually away working for that entire week. So I was home alone with COVID trying to pack for a holiday that I didn't even know if I was gonna get on or not. And I was like praying to any God up there 
um, I was trying to do that and I was trying to tidy the house because I wanted it to be in a nice state for like when Jake came home for when I came back I was trying to do all these things and I was just like crying every night like I was literally just crying and it just wasn't great and to be honest with you like when that's happening for two weeks as if I'm thinking about YouTube like YouTube is not an income for me it is very much a hobby um, just like it would be for going to the gym for some people but then saying that and saying that it was like the last thing on my mind I was also getting really I don't know if anxious is the right word but well maybe it is but I like to before I go away for anything have some videos already sort of ready to go I really like to stay on top of YouTube as much as I possibly can and if I'm gonna have a break it only be kind of like a sneaky couple of days break and hopefully no one will notice and just kind of upload once and try and get away with it like that but you know I had three videos they all needed me to be on camera to do introductions and outros so then I was of course kicking myself like really kicking myself that I hadn't just done the intro and outro at the same time but like sometimes it doesn't work out like that so then I knew I had no content I felt sick as a dog I had work to do I had a house to tidy and I had a holiday to pack for that I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to go to or not and uh, it was just like like beyond stress if I'm perfectly honest beyond stress um, fast forward two days before I'm supposed to go on holiday I take a test and there's a faded line and I was like okay okay <laughs> The day before I take a test, it took literally 28 minutes for a faded line to pop up and I was like, I'm gonna have to cancel this holiday. I'm gonna have to cancel this holiday. I took a test the morning of, bearing in mind it's been 10 days and like guidance says that you're not contagious after 10 days. So I tested the morning of and I'm literally like not even looking and I'm like praying to the gods, half crying, thinking I'm gonna have to cancel this holiday. Uh, my cousin's gonna be let down. We're all gonna be upset. I was so excited. I'm literally crying and the test comes back negative and I'm like oh my goodness gracious so I then um bear in mind this is the day before and I still haven't packed and I'm not that person so I prefer to pack like a good week before and then just kind of get bits together I'm then like at this point I don't care like <laughs> I even text my cousin I was like I'm clear from it we're going on holiday I need to do a double test to make sure like I need I need to make sure um, I can't I can't not make sure like the anxiety was real at that point if I'm perfectly honest and at this point I don't even care what I'm wearing like my cousin has fully planned all of her outfits she's like oh my god I'm gonna look so cute I'm gonna take this bikini and this swimsuit I am flinging clothes into a bag I am flinging clothes into a bag like I I, <laughs> I am just throwing stuff I'm hoping that something sticks I'm like yep a dress easy it's one thing it's not even an outfit it's a dress and I am just shoving stuff in until the bag is full and I'm like I've got something in there I've got something to wear I'm not too sure what it is I didn't even think like my makeup situation I totally overpacked I was just like throwing stuff literally in this makeup bag and I was like something will land you know something will land totally overpacked don't know what I was thinking got to the other end and got to Portugal and I was like Am I okay? Am I mentally well? Did I think I was going on like the red carpet? I just, ugh, it was ridiculous. And I bought way too many clothes. But like I said, I was in full panic mode. The house was an absolute disaster. It was a mess. I hadn't touched it for a week. I hadn't really been eating great for a week. It was just, life was a little bit stressful to be honest. Um, so yeah, Jake came back the day before I was supposed to go. He came back and he was like, what the hell has been happening? I was like, I'm free from COVID. I'm going on holiday but the house was a mess and he was like okay cool thanks like he'd been working away for the whole week and the house looked like a bomb had hit it and, I, and he was like okay great and I was like I am so sorry so um we had our flight at like seven o'clock in the morning and I was driving to Gatwick and we had to leave I left my house at one in the morning oh god you know what I'd say I'm never going to do this again but to be fair it was the cheapest way of doing it and I'm all about scrimping and saving in this time of to time of money issue situation with all the energy bills rising and stuff like that everything's more expensive okay I was like if I can save 20 quid I'm gonna save 20 quid girl um so I went to go pick up my cousin uh I left the house at one our flight was at seven I hadn't slept for like 48 hours by the time we landed I was at, literally felt like warmed up death um or death warmed up even it was just it was a rough it was rough it was rough so skip forward to us coming back I felt so relaxed I felt so happy I was like oh my god I needed that great 
Um, what, what else is on my list? So when I came back from holiday, uh, Jake, bless him, I like, you know what, there's sometimes where I love him and sometimes where I want to strangle him, right? And um, this was kind of like a bit of both. I had come back and the house was immaculate, immaculate. I'm like, oh my God, the house looks amazing. I'm so happy. I've just come back from a relaxing break. The house looks amazing. The bathroom had been repainted. He painted the ceilings. He would painted all the walls, the color that we'd chosen out. The kitchen was immaculate. Everything was beautiful. And I was like, I could kiss you. You are such a doll. And then I found out like he um, had invited, not invited, but like obviously I have no problem with this, by the way, just preface this. Um, he was like oh yeah my dad came around to help me paint and like strip all the walls because they need sanding down and like tile paint was going to go on there it was a whole thing and i was like oh that's so sweet of him and then he said about like his mum and his sister coming around to like tidy the house and i was like oh i feel embarrassed don't get me wrong i'm very grateful it's a very very kind thing to do for someone else to take their time out of their day to come like help you but I am a, like quite a proud person in the sense of I feel shame and to be honest with you the state of the house it, like that was it was I left it in before I went on holiday I felt shame and I said to Jake like oh are you planning on having anyone round while I'm gone and he was like oh yeah I might have a few mates over like for a movie and pizza night and I was like okay so I kind of made sure the living room was in a presentable state in the sense of I'd be happy happy for people to come in I'm not a show home type of person let's normalize normal homes you know like I'm really happy for you like genuinely happy for you if you have a show home house I am not that girl <laughs> I am not that girl and actually there, to a certain point I do feel uncomfortable when houses are very show homey because I feel like I, I can't relax a little bit that's just me personally so when I found out that like his parents had come round to like help clean I I did tell this I did like say this to Jake but like I didn't want it to turn into an argument because it can it, what I'm about to say can easily sound like unappreciative and it wasn't at all but I felt this incredible sense of shame that other people had seen the state in which maybe they perceived I was happy to leave the house and I wasn't happy to leave the house like that the reality was I was absolutely burnt out from work to the point where I was literally crying myself to sleep if I'm perfectly honest it sounds tragic but it's true um I was completely burnt out I'd had covid I was trying to do everything else on top of you know trying to just basically live and make sure I'd actually eaten and take tablets and you know having a shower and keeping the house relatively covid free trying to do all of that like that was the actual reality of the situation and obviously if you don't know the reality of the situation I just look like a messy bitch like I just look like a messy messy person who can't be asked or doesn't have any pride and that's not the reality and like I, I just felt this immediate sense of shame that they had seen the house and I said to him like if I'm perfectly honest this office space like, it looks clean from where you're sitting but like trust me what I'm looking at now is like it stays tidy for all of about a week and then it's messy again the reason for that is because this room has so many functional uh things going on with it like it's a studio space it's an office space it's my wardrobe space it's my getting ready space it's my quickly people are coming around dumping space um you know it's a bit of everything it's where i store presents for people if i'm buying things for them it's just like it's a bit of everything it's where i keep my stationery everything the printer like i said everything um and I said, oh, did your mum and dad see the office? Knowing what it looked like. And he was like, oh yeah, they said you have a lot of stuff. And I was just like, genuinely, I just wanted to cry because I just felt this immediate sense of shame. And I didn't really show Jake that because I didn't want him to then feel bad because that obviously isn't his intention or like whatever. But I like kind of had to sit there and have a word with myself about how much I own in terms of stuff and go through stuff so i've gone through my wardrobe and um decluttered loads i decluttered three big bin liners of clothes i let my cousin my mom my friends go through them um and just kind of be like hey if you want anything go for your life and then the rest of it's so going to either i think i'm gonna either deep up a few things that i've paid quite expensive like things that like nothing is wrong with them and i paid a bit of money for and then i'm just gonna chuck the rest in the charity shop because some of it's like worn but there's nothing wrong with it and anything that's like totally worn to the point where I'm like no I wouldn't want to give anyone this it's going to go into the rag waste so it can at least be recycled for material like material waste um 
so I've actually filmed that by the way I filmed me decluttering and kind of organizing my wardrobe so I need to edit that but that is one of the videos that I filmed when I came back from holiday two weeks ago yeah I know um, so I filmed that and I was really happy with myself I started decluttering loads I've got so much stuff to the left of me that I don't really know what to do with currently but I know it needs to leave the house um, and I still need to declutter way more stuff. I've gone through all of my shoes and things like that. And I was kind of sharing with Jake like how much I'd got rid of and he was really happy. And I was like, look, we both have stuff that we need to get rid of. We both need to declutter. You know, the house we're in, it's a two bedroom, um, two bedroom house. It's actually like the whole floor plan of our house. We've got a bathroom, a kitchen, living room, dining space. It's like one long room. We don't really have a dining room table. We have like a pullout one. So it's like a living room, kitchen area so it's like one living room space and then a bedroom and then this room which is like the, the second bedroom but it's like my office everything space um and so there's not like a ton of space for us both if i'm honest like we have probably enough space to fill a proper house and we don't we have like the upstairs of a house if you're looking at footprint um so yeah it, it's kind of like we have a lot of stuff but we don't have a lot of space either so yeah anyway so that was a thing I started decluttering loads and I was really happy and I kind of like took took my shame of messiness and yeah having lots of stuff took that shame and tried to make a positive spin on it and being like okay well let's not be shamed by that anymore let's let's do something about it by the way I'm doing the most simplest eye look ever <laughs> so um don't feel like you're missing out by me not zooming in because what you I mean I can zoom in if you want maybe I should have zoomed in is that any better maybe that was better I should have done that at the beginning oh well I'm not particularly doing anything fancy I'm kind of just doing like an everyday really easy look that I've just been enjoying lately so cycle on a week from that it's then my birthday my 25th birthday I'm all excited it's my birthday um have a lovely day I wake I have the day off but well I didn't I was supposed to have the day off but I logged on to do some stuff for work um in the morning logged onto my computer did that for a few hours and then um Jake and I did some face masks played some Le Lego um Star Wars on the PlayStation and what else did we do open some presents um i need to film the whole like what i got for my birthday video um because i love filming those and then we went for a lovely walk in the countryside and then went around my mum and dad's for dinner um which is really nice the weather was actually really lovely it did rain a tiny bit but um it you know it was actually quite nice it was the middle of june so it, it wasn't bad weather and i yeah, I just had a nice evening with my family, opened some more presents and stuff and opened cards and yeah, just had a really nice time. So that was really lovely and it was like a really relaxing birthday. It wasn't like, I feel like it's one of those things, as you get older, oh definitely this is how I feel, but as you get older, like not that your birthday means less and less to you, but to me it's like, it doesn't have to be an all singing, dancing thing. I don't have to do anything particularly special. I just want a nice relaxing day. I just want to enjoy my day. I just want to have a nice day where I don't have to think about anything particularly stressful. I just want to have a nice relaxing day with the people I love and do nice things, right? So to me, eating outside, having like a little bit of a barbecue salad-y situation is great, okay? It's great, I love it. That's like my idea, you know, get some pasta salad going, get some like little sausages and maybe a, a little pork chop or something, I don't know, like just something. And then like a little bit of salad, a little hummus and dips. That to me, I'm like, yes, yes, okay? I am a foodie and food ultimately makes me very happy. <laughs> which then is kind of leading on me on to the next thing of food makes me very happy but I have actually been for the whole of this month apart from the week that I was away in Portugal I have been on a calorie counting diet so I've been using my fitness pal and I've been using well this is actually not my apple watch it's Jake's really really old like the first series apple watch um he allowed me to because he's got like a Garmin one now so it's not like he's gonna wear two watches at once um he has sort of like given this to me so I can use it and I've been using this Apple Watch to kind of monitor my steps kind of make sure I'm standing up and not being a vegetable on the sofa um and just doing all those things I'm trying to go to the gym like two times a week ideally but then I would really love to get to three times a week I've only been once this week I was gonna go again this weekend but we'll see how we feel I want to try and get my YouTube up to scratch this weekend so I might have to sacrifice a gym session 
for YouTube, but I think I'm comfortable with that. Ultimately, I really just want to, like I've had a bit of a self-evaluation month this month, and ultimately I just want to get to a place where I'm happy with my body. It doesn't necessarily have to be a particular number. It doesn't have to necessarily be a particular size in clothing. I just want to be happier with my body. I, essentially, like I've just been trying to have a bit of a health kick and trying to make myself more accountable but also in a realistic way, you know, calorie counting um, and not giving up food necessarily, but just holding myself accountable and saying, yeah, you can have that slice of cake, but just remember, if you have that slice of cake, you won't be able to have a larger portion for dinner tonight. So what would you prefer? And I'm like, the larger slice of cake. <laughs> so it's just holding myself accountable. I've also been getting Invisalign. I can't remember if I mentioned it in the video. I might have done, but it's probably a video that I haven't even uploaded yet because I haven't uploaded in like six weeks. So I've been getting Invisalign on my bottom teeth. Um, this was all prior to the energy bills and life getting more expensive. So I love that for me. I was like, this is the time I'll use my, I have some savings put apart like aside for it because I knew I wanted to get Invisalign on my bottom teeth. It's something that I was sensitive about. I had a very crooked tooth here. It's not so bad anymore because I've been getting Invisalign. This, I'm like week seven now, maybe week, no wait. I can't remember, I think I'm week seven. Um, I had two teeth that were like very crooked and it made it very difficult to brush, very difficult to floss. Um, and I didn't like how it looked. It also hit my tooth when I bit down. It would hit back there and I would find that it, so I developed a bit of a sensitivity so I was like you know what let's fix it now before it's too late let's catch it early I used to wear braces when I was very very young and they were perfect and then I had my wisdom teeth grew through and then they weren't perfect because I couldn't get my retainer on anymore so that was a whole thing so financially these past couple of months have just not been that great my skin has also been really really bad um I don't really want to go into it too much because I feel a little bit sensitive about it but I've been getting really really bad eczema so at the moment I've got really really sore dry backs of my knees that is from stress it always flares up when I'm stressed uh, it doesn't help with the change of weather either but when I'm stressed it will just flare up so bad at the moment my knees like right now are like tingling they're so itchy and so sore uh, so that's something and then I also I'll just gloss over it really quickly but like I've also got really bad like eczema around my areola if you know you know um and it's just like I'm really quite sensitive about it it's just something that's going on and it's just not very nice to have to deal with to be honest it's just a little bit like nasty and I'm sure it's I've got a helicopter flying over the house brilliant okay the helicopter is basically gone um it's just not very nice and I'm pretty sure it's flared up by stress and I'll be honest like the main stressor in my life has been my work and it's not great okay I don't like to talk about my occupation on YouTube because uh of, like privacy and to be honest like I don't really I don't really like to talk about it just in case I get in trouble I don't know like I just don't know I don't some places can be really weird about mentioning where you work or anything that you say and I don't really want to lose my job over some stupid like thing that I might have said on a beauty channel like I don't really want to do <laughs> um but um what I will say is work is killing me off slowly okay it's killing me off slowly to the point where I I can't take it anymore I can't take it anymore and I don't want to quit because I'm mum I didn't raise no quitter but um lord almighty it becomes but it becomes really tempting, really tempting. Um, work is just kicking my butt. It's kicking my butt at the moment. And that does of course flow down into every aspect of everything when half of your life is just kicking your butt. So life is not actually that enjoyable right now, not to try and be dramatic, but it's just not, I'm not, I'm not enjoying life right now and it's not a very nice thing to admit but it is what it is um okay what else i've got cost of living written down on my on my notepad uh i'm trying to save for a bloody house that is an additional pressure that is in the back of my mind like jake would be like don't worry about it don't stress about it there's not a lot you can do and i'm like yeah i know there's not a lot i can do but like i don't like that i like to be very in control of my own destiny you know and i don't like the fact I'm even worrying about it, but you can't help it. When you worry about something, you can't like, 
it's one of those things if someone says don't worry about it you're not gonna be like okay cool like you can't help it I if I'm laying there at night thinking about something I haven't decided right okay now I'm gonna go to bed and I'm gonna start worrying I've decided I'm gonna just start worrying now you can't help it you just do it oh did I also mention that Jake um has covid or rather he did have covid uh yeah <laughs> oh he's had covid for this past week and i've been sleeping on the sofa for actually i say this past week it's been 11 days he's okay like he's fine he didn't have covid as bad as i did that is for certain but his positive test is killing me slowly like oh my goodness i have been on the sofa for nearly two weeks like over a week now as well as doing early mornings late nights at work as well as trying to cook dinner and provide you know um it's just been it's been a lot and it's just been a lot let me just finish this mascara and then i will finish this video <laughs> okay i'm done my hair is actually borderline dry it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a crow's nest but you know <laughs> reality reality of life thank you guys for watching um I just wanted to update you where I've been, what's been happening, kind of just like, I've got hair across my face, I can feel it. I kind of just wanted to update you on what's been going on before I just went like straight back into videos. Um, just to let you know, I have got quite a few videos coming. I've got lots and lots and lots and lots of content. So thank you for being so gracious in um, sticking around and allowing me to just have my utterly, like, I'm not saying midlife crisis, but like mid yearly crisis. <laughs> <laughs> let's just hope there's only one of those please yeah i don't know it's just one of those isn't it it's just one of those where like sometimes life does just kick your butt and you just want to keep getting back up and fighting it because it won't last forever it's just one of those where you just life gets tough um like i said thank you so much for like giving me the time to have that and to just you probably didn't even realize which is like that i really really appreciate it and i am so excited to just like throw myself back into youtube i've missed it so much like it's like one of those things you don't realize how much you love someone until they're gone like i didn't realize how much i loved youtube until i wasn't doing it and i wasn't filming for an entire month let me know down below like if how you've been how you've been so i haven't spoken to you guys in ages let me know how you've been also let me know if you want to see anything in particular like i said i've got loads of content coming but if you want to see something then just let me know thank you guys so much for watching i'm <laughs> at risk of rambling on now so i love you guys i hope you are taking care staying safe and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate you thumbs up subscribe do all those lovely youtube things and i will see you in my next one bye